Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Now, do you know what is the length of DNA in human cells? Let us calculate. Now, one human cell has around 3 billion base pairs of DNA and each base pair have a length of 3.4 angstrom unit. Now, when we multiply this 3 billion base pairs into 3.4 angstrom unit and when we calculate this further, so we get an answer of say around each cell has 1 meter long DNA. Interesting, isn't it? Now, if you don't know what is the meaning of base pairs, what is the meaning of say length of base pair, I have made one video based on the structure of DNA. I am enclosing this, the link of this video in the I section. Please check that. Now, there is one more fact about the DNA in the body of the human. Now, each cell has around 1 meter of DNA which we have calculated just now. Now when we solve this further, now we have around 100 trillion cells in human body. Now when you multiply this 100 trillion cells by 1 meter long DNA and when we solve it further, we get around 10 into 10 to 10 kilometers of DNA in human body. And surprisingly, that long DNA is even longer than the distance between the sun and earth. So. Now you might get a question like why DNA packaging is required. Now students, just now we calculated the total length of DNA per human cell is around 1 meter and this DNA is to be packaged into the chromosomes and surprisingly if you see the size of the cell, now size of the cell in eukaryotic cell is around 10 micrometer, moreover the size of the nucleus is still smaller than the size of the cell. Now, this 1 meter long DNA has to be packaged into a space of nucleus which is having a diameter of around 4 micrometer. So, therefore, there is a need of packaging. So, 1 meter DNA has to be packaged into a space which is around 4 micrometer in case of eukaryotic nuclei. So, therefore, packaging is required. So hi, I am Sanjay Lard. Welcome to one more video of special biotonic. In today's session, as we said, we'll talk about the packaging of DNA. So in the beginning, I request you all to like my channel, share it and subscribe it. And don't forget to press bell icon and you'll get notification of my new videos quickly by subscription and subscription is totally free. So let us start with packaging of DNA into the chromosomes. Now in eukaryotic cell, the packaging takes place with, with the help of two types of protein, histone proteins and non-histone proteins. Now DNA is negatively charged due to the phosphate groups, whereas to package this negatively charged DNA, we require positively charged proteins such as histone proteins. Now histones are positively charged proteins due to amino acids such as arginine and lysine. Now these histone proteins, these histone proteins are broadly divided to four types H1, H2, H3 and H4. Now this H2 is further divided to H2A and H2B. So students, in total we have five types of histone proteins H1, H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. Now in a stepwise manner these histone proteins help in packaging of DNA. Let us see one by one. Now these are histone tetramers. These are also histone tetramer. They come together to form histone octamer. Octa means eight. So here two units of H2A, two units of H2B, two units of H3 and two units of H4. They come together to form eight units of histones. So that is called as histone octamer. Now they actually form the core of nucleosome. Now this is the core of the nucleosome around which there is a coiling of DNA. Now this histone core shows 1.75 turns of DNA, not uh, exactly 2 turns but it is 1.75 turns of DNA. Now this DNA is divided into two types. The DNA which is attached to the central part of the nucleosome is called as core DNA which is having length of 146 base pair. Now this is a central part called as histone core or histone octamer. 
and the DNA which connects the two nucleosomes is called as linker DNA which has a length of 54 base pairs that is 27 base pair upside 27 base pair on the lower side so this is one nucleosome which has a diameter of 10 nanometer so each nucleosome contain the central part called as histone core which is made up of histone octamer around which there is a coiling of DNA there is 1.75 tons of DNA this DNA is, is of two type core DNA and the linker DNA students remember H1 is not part of nucleosome H1 protein is not part of nucleosome so each nucleosome contain the histone octamer around which 200 base pairs of DNA is there students to talk more clearly about the nucleosome the central part of the nucleosome is called as histone core or histone octamer around which there is a coiling of DNA and this coiling of DNA is around 1.75 turns now this DNA is of two type the part of the DNA which is attached to the nucleosome core is called as core DNA and the part which is connecting the two neighboring nucleosomes are called as linker DNA now students this is structure of nucleosome which is uh, which can be summarized as uh, nucleosomes are made up of histone octamer plus 200 base pairs of DNA and this 200 base pairs of DNA is divided to 146 base pair as core DNA and this linker DNA is 54 base pair which is divided into 27 base pair on the top and 27 base pair on the lower side so this is the structure of a nucleosome students when we see this structure of nucleosome under say higher magnification of microscope we can see this as beads on a string structure and you can see this beads on a string structure which we normally wear around our neck so we call in Hindi as Gale Ki Mala now these individual units are called as nucleosomes which are carrying the DNA in the background so these are the DNA which is uh, coiled around the histone protein to form nucleosomes so this is a beads on a string structure now six nucleosomes come together with H1 protein to form further coiling called as solenoid structure which is having diameter of 30 nanometer now these are different dimensions of the solenoid structures different views of or different the perspectives of solenoid structures now these solenoids further get condensed with the help of non-histone protein or scaffold protein to form chromatin fibers which further get condensed to form chromosome and the last picture which you see is uh, the chromosome which are normally visible during metaphase so this is like the packaging of DNA takes place with the help of histone and non-histone protein to form chromosomes so to summarize the packaging of DNA in eukaryotic cell there are four different stages in packaging of DNA into chromosome in sorry, eukaryotic cells first is nucleosome formation second is solenoid then third is chromatin and last is chromosomes in case of nucleosome uh, two units of each of H2A, H2B, H3, H4 come together to form histone octamer around which there is a 1.75 tons of DNA this DNA has a total length of 200 base pair which is further divided to 146 base pair as core DNA and 54 base pair as linker DNA and the diameter of the nucleosome is 100 angstrom again I am telling you H1 is not a part of nucleosome now 6 nucleosome plus 6 H1 protein to form the solenoid structure which has a diameter of 300 angstrom these solenoids are arranged with the help of non-histone proteins scaffold proteins to form the chromatin and these chromatins further get condenses to form chromosome during the dividing stage and chromosomes are especially visible during the metaphase of the mitosis or even meiosis so students i hope you are understanding the packaging of dna into the chromosome as far as eukaryotic cells are concerned 
Now students, when we stain the chromosomes uh, with the help of a stain, we can find some loosely stained area in the chromosome. These loosely stained area in the chromosomes are called as euchromatin, whereas darkly stained uh, part in the chromosome is called as heterochromatin. So euchromatin is lightly stained, whereas heterochromatin is darkly stained. Now these chromosomes, like when you see this chromosome uh, after straining, you can see these areas. Now the end of part of the chromosome is called as telomer. Now darkly stained area is called as heterochromatin. The central part of the chromosome is called as centromere, and lightly stained areas are called as euchromatin. So with this picture also we can understand the darkly stained areas are called as heterochromatin, whereas the lightly stained areas are called as euchromatin. Students, let us understand the differences between euchromatin and heterochromatin. Now, euchromatin is a lightly stained areas in the chromosome, whereas the lower one is darkly stained areas. Euchromatins are covered with less proteins, whereas heterochromatins are covered with more proteins. Now, due to less protein, the DNA is accessible to the enzymes such as RNA polymerase to form RNA. Now, formation of DNA to RNA is called as transcription. So in case of eukaryotic like euchromatins, the DNA is accessible for the transcription process. As heterochromatins are covered with a lot of proteins, so this DNA is not accessible for enzyme to transcribe. So therefore, euchromatins are genetically more active as compared to the heterochromatins. Now in case of prokaryotic cell, to understand the packaging in case of prokaryotic cell, let us see the differences between eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cell. Now eukaryotic cell is having larger size whereas prokaryotic cell has smaller size. The length of DNA in eukaryotic cell is longer as compared to prokaryotic cell. DNA of eukaryotic cell is around 2 meters whereas the DNA of prokaryotic cell is just 1100 micrometers. Now in case of eukaryotic cell, nucleus as such is present whereas nucleus and other cell organelles are absent in prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cell shows one to many chromosomes whereas prokaryotic cell shows only one chromosome present inside the cytoplasm attached to the cell membrane. The DNA of eukaryotic cell is straight whereas circular in case of prokaryotic cells. And very important thing is eukaryotic cell shows histone and non-histone proteins. So in case of eukaryotic cell the packaging takes place with the help of histone and non-histone proteins whereas histone proteins as such is absent in prokaryotic cell. So in prokaryotic cell, the packaging takes place with the help of non-histone protein or histone-like proteins. Now students, in case of prokaryotic cell, the packaging of DNA takes place with the help of histone-like protein. Remember here, histone proteins are absent. So in prokaryotic cell, the packaging takes place with the help of histone-like protein. Now the total den length of DNA in prokaryotic cell is around 1100 micrometer. So first it is made circular and with formation of the circular DNA, the size of the DNA is reduced to 350 micrometer. Now this DNA further get coiled with the help of RNA connectors to form a new structure which is having a size of around 30 micrometer. Now these are the loops of the DNA and these loops are connected by the RNA connectors. So with the help of RNA connectors, there's a second level of say packaging in case of prokaryotic cell. So that is reducing the size of the DNA to 30 micrometer. Now these loops further get supercoiled to form still smaller structure that is two micrometer structure. So in case of prokaryotic cell, 1100 micrometer long DNA is first reduced to 350 micrometer then to 30 micrometer and last to 2 micrometer. Now students this 2 micrometer small DNA is present inside the cytoplasm of prokaryotic cells and this DNA is also called as nucleoid. It is also called as nucleoid. So students to summarize this packaging of DNA to chromosome in prokaryotic cell takes place with the help of histone-like proteins whereas in case of eukaryotic cell it takes place with the help of histone and non-histone proteins. In case of eukaryotic cell there are different stages like 
nucleosome, solenoid, chromatin and chromosomes. Okay, now students, if you are still confused between the words like chromatin, chromosome, chromatids, I have made one video based on these three terms. So I am enclosing the link of that video in the I section. Please check that. And at the end, I request you all to like my channel, share it and subscribe it. And don't forget to press bell icon. And at the end, I thank you for watching my video. Thank you.